Hey there, it's Brittany, and I'm back with kind of a blitz tutorial in that I already know what I'm making, but um, we're making a lot of them. <laughs> and this is actually two parts. The first part, we're gonna be focusing on earring, um, like hoops, like frames. Um, this, I got these from Walmart. The ones that we're gonna be using today are gold. I can't find my other gold pack. So um, this, I just wanted to show you if you're at Walmart, this, they're by Blue Moon Beads. They're like probably under three bucks for, 36 pieces so you get three different sizes and um, we're gonna make several earrings using these today and then part two will be earrings not using hoops but the same color palette um, I got really into using these colors when I was making them and I just thought you know hey and I made a bunch for my 30-day earring challenge which is over now but these were made during the challenge so another thing that i'm going to be using a lot of are these chips that i got from pam african turquoise jasper so the funny thing is pam didn't know i was making this video and um she's like hey i'm gonna send you some more of those um i got a ton of them and i was like that is serendipitous because um if, if you guys like them as much as i do you're gonna want to know where i got them so i'll leave a link to pam's shop it's on facebook um i think she has an etsy uh, but I'll let you know more about that if, if I find it. So all of the information will be in the description below But we're gonna be using a lot of these chips today and several of the different pairs of earrings we're making and in the second video So I'm gonna get a bead mat And we're just gonna we're just gonna get started some of these most of these are just gonna be really simple um, You know me. I like simple. I can do I can do complicated, but um, my brain doesn't like complicated as much <laughs> So sometimes I really get into it, but most of the time I just want to just want to kind of make something and then move on so today we're going to use some eye pins some head pins um earring wires probably a different couple different types of earring wires but we're going to worry about those later we might use some jump rings and we're just going to be using uh, several different types of beads so the first one that we're going to make is going to be ridiculously simple i'm going to use just the chips a head pin and one of the largest frames so here's our largest frame. Turn it over. Okay. And then I'm just going to spill out a bunch of chips because we're going to be using these honestly through so many different pairs that it's just going to be easier for me if we have them out. And um, we're just going to pile a bunch on our head pin. Okay. So I spill, I kind of picked out a few here. I'm just literally, I'm just going to pile them on our head pin until we get semi close to the top. I chose 12 pieces in all different sizes and colors because I wanted it to be kind of organic. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. <laughs> and then I'm just going to make a very simple loop at the top. Go bend it and then bring it back around. And hold everything in place. And then we're just gonna open it back up. It's not the easiest to get them on um, these wires sometimes, so kind of just gotta move it around until you can get it on there there we go and then we'll just close that oh I want to make sure we don't close it around the frame itself because then we'll have an issue and it won't swing correctly there we go There we go. And I twisted it a little bit, so we'll just kind of get it back into shape. And there's our earring. Let me get a couple earring wires here. Simple, but super, super modern and on trend and just easy, right? And I, this, this is gonna be an earring that you can wear for a very long time because it's so simple. So I'll go ahead 
and put that on my earring wire. Super pretty. And then here's the second one. And you can make it so you're, you know, grabbing pairs of chips or you can just make it as like kind of, I, I kind of match mine a little bit, but not, you'll see next to them next to each other. They're not <clears throat> uh, symmetrical. Isn't that gorgeous. I really love them. And I think this is one of my favorite pairs that I'll be showing you today. So just some chips, a frame and a head pin. Oh, and your ear wire. And you have an earring. That's a five minute earring right there. Super easy, but huge impact. People are gonna ask you, where did you get that? And they're gonna think they're really expensive because first of all, they look, turquoise, African turquoise Jasper looks just like regular Jasper. Or, I'm sorry, just like turquoise, but it's Jasper. So it's a little less expensive. And these frames, like I said, were under three bucks. Um, so next I'm going to do, use the same frame, some more chips, a head pin, and a check glass bead. And I'm actually gonna use some wire with this. I am gonna use some 24 gauge um, wire. And we're gonna need um, a little bit. You know, I cut too much wire, so kind of eyeball it. It's always my fear I'm not gonna have enough wire. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of take one end of the wire and start wrapping it around my frame. And it's gonna be kinda of sloppy at first, but I'm just gonna kinda of pull it around until it's, not till it's not moving, cause it's gonna move no matter what, but until it's as tight as it can be and we don't have a huge gap between the wire and the frame. So then I'm just gonna wrap, hmm, about four times, maybe five. Yeah, maybe five. So let me think about which which direction I want to go here. All right, so I'm just gonna take the end of my short wire. I'm gonna wrap it around again. And you can use pliers to hold this in place if you want. Um, this is very malleable, so I'm gonna just kind of do it with my fingers. Um, I'm gonna move it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna come in with my long wire and wrap towards the center. And I am not a master wire wrapper. I will never say that I, well, maybe in the future if I become a master wire wrapper, I will say that I am, but I am not one at, at present. So um, I'm gonna make sure that I get four loops So I have three right now. I'm gonna leave the long wire towards the inside. And then I'm gonna wrap one more time with our short wire. And then I'll trim that in just a moment towards the back. Okay, so we have four coils. And then we have our long wire towards the inside. And then I am just going to load on some chips and this came up towards the top we don't want that we'll keep it towards the bottom I'm going to lo load on some chips I don't really mind just whichever ones are speaking to me at the moment two, three, four, five, six, maybe one more. We'll see how that fits. Of course I cut way too much wire, but that's, we knew that was gonna happen because that's who I am. And then um, we're gonna kind of see how, let's see, it goes this way. We're gonna see how that fits within the frame.
think we have enough room for one teeny tiny skinny guy on the end there. So we have enough to push us right up against the other side of our frame. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my wire and I'm going to loosely wrap so we can get it started and then we'll become more precise as we keep going. This will be helpful. If, if you need to, you can trim it a little bit more. I'm just going to move this guy down a little bit. That'll probably still move around as we go but if you don't handle the earrings a lot it's not going to move now if this was a pendant on a necklace it might move which is probably what i would use it for because um you know i don't wear earrings but um i like fidgeting with my pendants a lot so i i could see myself using this as a fidget like my the jewelry wear version of a fidget spinner <laughs> okay and i'm just kind of pushing those coils together as I wrap, pass through again. Okay, so I'm going to do one more coil. Okay, and then, so it's a little wonky, but we're going to move him down a little bit. We're going to move him up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to trim my wires and then we're going to kind of clamp them down a little bit. Clamp as, crimp as close as I can get. Excuse me, cut as close as I can get, not crimp. And then we'll just save our extra wire. And I am going to just kind of smush that just a little bit. Not enough to mar. Um, and if you're worried about that, you can grab um, your nylon jaw pliers instead of flat nose pliers. Okay. So there's there's part of our earring so far. And if you're part of my <laughs> Facebook group, this is the earring that was driving me nuts when I posted my kingdom for a wood teardrop. But I never found one in the size that or, sh or look that I needed. So I found this check glass drop that I really, really liked. So I'm just going to make a very simple loop. We're going to do the same thing we did with the last pair of earrings. We're just going to hook this into the top. Okay. And then we'll just close it up. straighter than that. There we go. I'm going to grab an ear wire. I guess I should just dump out a bunch because that's what we're making today is a bunch of earrings. <laughs> They're so pretty. If I received these as a gift, I would just be blown away because I just think they're so, I don't know. I don't know the word that I'm looking for. I just think that they're so, I don't know, trendy. I hate the word trendy, but they are trendy. And I think that they're just really sophisticated looking. They're very simple, but elegant. That's what I'm looking for, elegant. And then we'll put this one on. And here's our second pair of earrings. Aren't those gorgeous? Um, yeah, these, I, I keep saying this one's my favorite, this one's my favorite, but obviously I, I'm not going to show you an earring that I don't like. <laughs> so I don't, I don't like making earrings that I don't like. So aren't these beautiful? 
Oh, they made me so happy. So two pairs down just from using some wire and some chips and some frames. Um, and then we'll go on to the next pair. Next pair is a ridiculously simple. I'm gonna be using two frames in this one and a couple eye pin or head pins. So here I'm using our smallest round, our large round, a um, halite leaf and a um, check glass flower. So I really wanted to showcase um, this check glass flower because it's so beautiful, but it'll get lost on a lot of pieces. So I thought the frame would be a great way to focus on a smaller um, focal bead. And normally I would use something like this as a spacer in a project, but today this is gonna be the focal even though it's teeny tiny. So I'm just gonna, in it. like I said, this is super easy. We're just gonna make a simple loop. Okay, we have a simple loop. We're going to do the same thing for the leaf. Okay, we're gonna need a jump ring for this project too to get the um, the uh, two rings to hold together. Just a teeny tiny one. First I'm going to attach the flower to our smallest frame. So we have our focal bead in there, cute. And you could just wear this as a little earring. I mean, that's all you need, but um, we're gonna spice it up a little bit and we're going to attach our small ring, our small frame to our large frame with the jump ring. So I'm gonna put through here. And then we're going to hang it from the inside of the large frame. Twist that closed. So again, you could just leave it like that. Just have a concentric circle earring. Or you could put a flat coin in there, like a gemstone coin, that could be the focal in there, whatever. And then I'm just gonna open this. I'm gonna hook it onto the bottom. You can have anything hanging under here, but I thought a cute little leaf would um, anchor the flower. And then here is our second pair of earrings. And that's fun, and that's something that's gonna swing around, get some attention while you're wearing it. Actually, all of these swing around so far. Um, and gain some attention. So I'm just gonna put on my earring wire. Isn't that so sweet? I would, <laughs> all of these, I would just love somebody gave me these even though I don't wear them. <laughs> like, oh, that was so sweet of you, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, these are, I, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all these earrings. Actually, I do want to make a huge donation over to Dress for Success um, and maybe a women's shelter, but I just gotta get myself, I gotta get this stuff packaged up and take it. It's been a wild year, right? So there we go, there's pair number three. Aren't those fun? Aren't those, those make you happy? They make me happy. 
Okay, so we have two more pairs um, for this video, and then we will have a um, another video not using the frames. So um, hopefully I can film that right after I finish this one. Okay, so I have two more pairs of earrings that I want to show you. Um, the next one we're going to be using, again, another small... Um, frame and another large frame, but we're going to put them together in a different way. Um, I'm also going to use another, uh, actually two head pins, um, five halite beads and a gold spacer. So here are three of the halite heishis. They're like thicker heishis. Um, I need two more. Just getting them out of my stash here. And be super easy easy i also need a jump ring for this um the first thing we're going to do is just take two of my heishis and put them on an eye pin just like that make a simple loop for a dangle There's the first part. Next, we're gonna grab another eye or head pin. I always know which one I mean to say, but I always say the wrong one. <laughs> so my brain's going too fast. Um, and then I'm going to put on my three heishis onto this one. And my, golds, uh, my gold metal bead. And we're gonna do another simple loop. you know what if you don't have these beads that's okay I'm just giving you ideas to do things with something you might have on hand or maybe if it, it just sparks your creativity and you don't make anything anywhere near this then I'm happy <laughs> you know so okay so we have that I'm gonna grab another tiny jumper teeny tiny and then um, first I'm going to hang my two heishis in the smaller um, frame. It's kind of, like I said earlier, it's a little awkward sometimes, so you just got to work on it. Sometimes <laughs> if something's really frustrating me, I'll just put it down and we'll start working on something else or walk away, take a break. Drink some Diet Dr. Pepper, <laughs> um, but it's not it's not your fault and it's not the beads' fault. So I just try to uh, try to take a break. So there's the first piece, but you know I would rather blame the beads than myself. <laughs> it's the beads' fault. So and then we're gonna do the second piece. Okay. Keep thinking it's in there, but it's not. And um, since it doesn't really matter, you can try going at it from either direction. There we go. And whichever one works more quickly. And then we'll just hang that. That just hangs in there. That's a pretty earring. This is a pretty earring. Like you can make four pairs of earrings. You don't have to make it into one. And then I'm gonna grab my jump ring. Twist it open. I'm gonna put it through my frame and then through the top of this frame oh we want to make sure that they're hanging in the right direction so let me try this one first and then this one and we'll close our jump ring if you want you can use a more sturdy jump ring whatever floats your boat and then here is our piece isn't that fun so it's the same concept as this one, but we attached the rings differently. So it made it a completely different look. And we'll go ahead and put our earring on our earring wire. And we'll do the same for our second earring. Okay. 
and here we go that's pair number four isn't that fun and again it's there's a lot of movement it'll create a lot of um, interest and uh, catch some attention again any of these can also be turned into a pendant um, which I might do with some of them so there is pair number four all right I have one more pair for this video and then like I said the next pair I'm sorry the next video will have more but I'm not going to be using the frames so in this pair I'm going to use a jump ring um, a one um, little one chip bead one round frame actually I'm going to use two jump rings in this one and a charm we're going to use this brass moon so what I'm going to do first is bring back our 24 gauge wire I got this on clearance a ton of ton of time ago from um, Hobby Lobby so I'm just gonna cut a piece probably way too long but you never know and I'm going to stick it through and you've probably seen me do this before but I'm gonna stick it through and I got one that was as round as I could find um, in a don't like with the hole right in the middle so it's almost like a donut so I'm gonna move this right down to the middle of my wire I'm gonna line up my ends as much as possible get it down to the middle I want to go like so it's like wider and then I'm gonna put this and you've seen me do this before I'm just gonna start twisting okay and um, it's gonna take it's gonna take some time um, I'm gonna find I, I don't think this will work well with my nylon jaw pliers but I'm gonna try it well, it seems to be working okay but we're just going did I just undo it yeah all right we're gonna keep twisting this way you know what I am it's just not working with the nylon jaws but I'm gonna hold it with my pliers and start twisting and I'm gonna twist a lot so these two wires become almost one wire but it's twisted they do sell twisted wire however I don't have well may, I might have some but nothing this thin that would have fit through this donut and I'm gonna move up my wire because I want it to be twisted as much as I can up towards the top and I'm gonna go ahead and finish twisting this and I'll be right back okay so I have my twisted wire and it's more twisted towards the bottom um, as it goes up it come, becomes a little bit loose um, but that's okay it's not loose it's just more loosely twisted than the bottom so I am just going to create a wire wrap loop I'm gonna do it like I normally would pull the loop around um, oh, keep this guy in there for a second pull that around okay so we have our loop you could do a simple loop but you'll probably lose some of that um, twist and then we're just gonna wrap several times around now if you like simple teeny tiny earrings I would recommend this as a focal or just just hang this from an ear wire it's teeny tiny if you have very delicate earlobes if you just like little earrings this would be a fantastic earring for you I'm gonna trim it in the back all right I just want to decide which one's the back I don't think it really matters yeah it doesn't matter so we'll just trim this okay and I'm gonna tuck it in there we go we're gonna grab um, one of our jump rings open that up put our moon on we want to make sure there is a good and a bad side to, not bad but a front and a back to the moon so I just want to make sure the, the front hits the the front of the frame and then we'll close that up 
Now brass does tarnish, so if you're using brass, make sure that, um, and you're selling, make sure you let people know, and you might wanna tell, give them tips on how to polish brass. It's You can Google it. <laughs> um, I'm not an expert on it. So uh, then I'm just gonna take my jump, last jump ring, and I made sure that this was facing forward. Grab that, put it on here. Close it up, and here's earring number five. So what you could do, if you really, really wanted to, you can make asymmetrical earrings. Hang the donut for one of the earrings in here if you want, and then hang the moon down here, and then have them be, you know, sisters, not twins. But anyway, isn't that just a cute, fun, funky, trendy, modern piece? I just really love it. And I love that we can get such a bold piece out of just one chip. And do you see how many pieces are still left? Um, we will be using those again in the second video. Again, I just split them up because I have so many ideas that I didn't want them to be all in one video. And then, so I just segmented this one into the one with the bead frames. So we're, we're gonna introduce some new beads in the second video. Isn't that gorgeous? I love this. Oh, it just makes me, burns my biscuit that I can't wear earrings. Um, yeah, makes me so sad. Um, but anyway, these are so fun. They're so fun. They make me so happy. And uh, I, I guarantee they would make anybody you made them for happy too. So here is pair number five. Stay tuned. I'll, I'll include pictures of all five pairs at the end of this video. Um, let me know. Which one was your favorite? Have you worked with bead frames? Do you like using chips? Tell me what, what your favorite color is. I, I don't care. I like talking to you guys in the, in the um, comments. Um, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Check out Pam's group if you're interested in these. Again, these frames just came from Walmart. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.